when he comes with this this piece right here. This is a square tube. This this right here came with the uh, I made this for the Reese. This plate right here. It's a quarter, uh, half inch thick. When I first got the the Reese, see this right here? Mm -hmm. I flipped it over so I could bolt it on over here like this. Oh, okay. And you use the original holes on the on the truck? Yeah, you always, everybody knows that. You gotta use the original holes. Cause you can't be drilling on these uh, frames. So the fifth wheel came with this. Yeah. Just this. Yes. And then you had this and this fabricated. Yeah. Uh, you gotta do. I just did it this route because I already had the uh, the plate, so I just flipped it over. But if I was going to do this all over again, it'd be a solid piece going across like that, a half inch, quarter inch uh, steel plate. And then before I bolt it on, I would have them put like a little uh, box it in, like a box. So you could you could mount the fifth wheel right on top of the the square, like for example, like this, but like four inches tall right here and that's what a lot of people do um his is multiple pieces he had this he already had the, from a reese he already had uh, this plate he just flipped it upside down and you notice it's two pieces one piece there and one piece over there and again he's he has the chains because the trailer came with the chains so he just uses them of course he doesn't need them because it's a fit Thing is bolted in it's this these two brackets right here mm -hmm. uh, and then you got a bolt going across inside the, the chassis and of course you, you still I still have these two right here these right here the hole was already big like 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 this oh, okay, okay. okay so you got to pick pick and choose where are you going to put these bolts in and then because you don't want to drill into your frame only if you really have to and then there was two holes on the on the top which is i don't know if you can see that right in here so i had to use those two on the top use those two those two are inside the the top of the, the frame and then so I got four. I could have used these right here, put some smaller ones, or drill, drill them a little big, but I was trying to use what came with the truck. Or the guy that had the gooseneck, I think he put a hole on the top, so I ended up using those uh, two existing holes that came with the, well, because that's what he did. And I don't want to drill any more into the chassis. So when he purchased this truck, it had a gooseneck, but he didn't want to use that. So he put a 30K Reese, used that for a good, maybe a year possibly, and then bought this uh, Holland fifth wall. The well, that's a 30K Reese, that's, I have it up for sale. I'm asking 1,600, they're about uh, two grand right now. So the 30K Reese was a nice fifth wheel. However, it has this sway mechanism, I don't know why it has that yeah so i have the reese for sale did you mention the, the it's for sale oh no you did okay and it has that sway yeah it's like a leaf spring inside yes which i never liked you can you can fill it it, it's, it is a 30k i mean it's but i just for car hauling i wouldn't have a lot of, i wouldn't recommend it yeah you, you, when, when you had a load you can feel that sway it wasn't a good feeling and then when he had a, a full load for vehicles when he was backing up because of that that reese he, he, the, yeah you can see it swaying where did you feel the sway at what what city san francisco mostly yeah san francisco mostly this is how he installed his uh fifth wheel to his truck and do you have any questions? I do got a question. What is that? I got a lot of questions. Okay, go ahead. So, 
So if, like I said, if I was to do that all over again, I get more of a solid box than fifth wheel. But that's what I had back back in those days that was, you know, that I bought the material that I use, I had to use it. So that's what you had available? Yes. Also put a fifth wheel plate, the fifth, I mean the kingpin. Kingpin of course stops there, but he, he had his welder uh, fabricate this plate. So let me show you something. The reason I had to put up the square tube in there, and you got a lot of the weight right here, right here. This. So you're put. I'm putting all the. I don't know if you can see this. Yes, we can see. So I was putting all the weight right here on the on the side. So to relieve the weight off this, I put the square tube in here. It's it's solid. It's a solid piece. So what's holding, what's holding that, what's holding that is this and this. And of course it's on both sides. And you can get a better, a better view of it. He's talking about this, it's a solid piece. And that's not gonna work for everybody. It, it's, it worked for me only because uh, when I bought the truck, I already have a, hose up there so I had to work whatever's in whatever's on the the hose that you have here and you never want to weld on the on the chassis of the truck 